Hello Electroheads, let's talk concept cars. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with concept cars. On the one hand, they're cool and they're exciting, and even if they never make it to production, they do at least give you some indication of the future direction a brand is headed in. On the other hand, they give you so much false hope. Getting excited about a concept car is a little bit like being a football fan and getting excited about a transfer rumour. You read something on your phone that says Ronaldo wants to come to Arsenal, you get all excited about it, fast forward a few months, what do you get? David Luiz. And that's how it feels sometimes when you get excited about a new concept car. It is a minefield of disappointment. But you know what? Today, just for a few minutes, let's put reality to one side. Today we're counting down the 10 coolest, most outrageous, most futuristic concept cars from the last few years. Electric only, of course. What criteria am I measuring these by? I don't know, general awesomeness? Don't think about it too much. Just enjoy all the cool sh before I go through my list, I need to give a few honourable mentions because I found so many cool cars when putting this video together and I can't not mention them. So, honourable mentions go to the VW ID Buggy, the Hyundai Lafiel Rouge, Mercedes Vision EQS, Fiat Centoventi, Toyota E-Racer, Cupra Tavascan, Mercedes Vision Simplex, Hyundai 45, Genesis Mint, Aston Martin, Lagonda. Let's get on with the list. I love me a bit of retro futuristic design and the Peugeot e-Legend concept is one of the best examples of it I've seen in recent years. The exterior design is allegedly <clears throat> the exterior design is allegedly a homage to the Peugeot 504 coupe. Personally I think the e-Legend gives off serious classic Mustang vibes particularly from the back. But if you want to know the coolest thing about the e-Legend I've got three words for you. Blue velvet upholstery. I wasn't alive in the 70s, but I'm told furry car interiors like this were all the rage back then. And after seeing this, I have one question. Why did we stop? Is this car ever going to happen? No, it's pure concept, but it sure is pretty. Don't be fooled by the name. The GFG style kangaroo isn't an Australian third division football team. It's actually an Italian supercar. Now, the first thing you need to know is that GFG stands for Giorgetto and Fabrizio Gigaro. Nailed it. And if you know anything about cars, that name should mean something to you. Giorgetto Gigaro is one of the all time great car designers. And he's had this weird idea floating around his little noggin for a off-roading supercar for some time now. In 2014, Jagaro's design house unveiled the Parkour, a off-roading supercar SUV thingy. It was very cool. And now he's back with another one named the Kangaroo, and this time it's all electric. The Kangaroo has all-wheel steering, all-wheel drive, massively adjustable ride height, and enough power to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in four seconds. Oh yes, they have a fully functional prototype. This thing is absolutely mad. It looks like a giant orange insect. The doors are insane, and don't quote me on this, but I think there's a fair chance they actually build a few of these. Watch this space. Back in 2017 at the Frankfurt Motor Show, Honda unveiled the Urban EV concept. Then, a few months later at the Tokyo Motor Show, the Urban EV was joined by a muscular coupe, a sporty EV, if you will, called the Sports EV. Fast forward to the present day and the Urban EV concept has evolved into the very real Honda E. I've driven it. It's excellent. You should go watch my video about it after this one. As for the sports EV, will that ever find its way to production? Well, nothing has been announced by Honda, but after doing a little bit of detective work, by which I mean Googling it, I have found reason to believe that the sports EV concept may well be going into production quite soon. See, back in July of 2019, the Honda Motor Company filed a patent for this design. I don't know about you, but to me, that looks a lot like a tweaked and updated version of the sports EV. Whether or not Honda actually takes the leap and goes through with building this sporty EV probably hinges on the success or failure of the Honda E. So what we all need to do is go and buy Honda E's. If the sports EV ever becomes a reality, you can bet it'll be something quite special. Check out this swoopy boy. 
The Hyundai Prophecy was one of my personal highlights of Geneva 2020. The interior was pure concept car madness with tartan interior and joysticks in place of a steering wheel. But what really caught my eye was the exterior design, that beautiful sleek silhouette, very 911-esque in shape. Now I thought this one was destined to never see the light of day, but how wrong I was. Just a few months after Geneva, Hyundai announced that this would go on to be the new 2021 Hyundai Ionic. On top of that, Hyundai recently announced that another of its cool concepts, the 45, will also be going into production. That's very cool. <laughs> Okay, enough talk of cars that are actually getting built. Let's talk about some concepty madness. The 2016 Renault Trezor concept is a masterpiece. In fact, if I was ranking these cars purely on looks, it would probably be right up the top of the list. But I'm not. I'm ranking them on overall coolness, or whatever I said earlier. Like any good concept car, much of the Trezor is pure fantasy. This two-seater is nearly five meters long. It has a red windscreen for some reason, and the doors are, well, there are no doors. Instead, the entire top half of the car lifts on gas struts because f you, that's why. But actually, the Trezor isn't just science fiction. It showcased several design cues, like those C-shaped headlights that made their way onto production Renaults. The powertrain was real too, lifted directly out of an early Formula E car along with its regen braking system. The Trezor is a concept car done right, fantastical enough to set tongues wagging while also giving genuine insight into the future direction of a brand. I'm realising now that it probably should have been higher on this list. This is not a very good list. Anyway. <laughs> We've had a hyper SUV, now it's time for a hyper shooting break. Welcome to the PB18, the world's fastest wagon. Let me hit you with some totally fictional concept car stats. The PB18's three electric motors combine for up to 753 brake horsepower, meaning 0 to 60 miles per hour in two seconds dead. The solid state battery is good for 361 miles and can be fully charged in a mere 15 minutes. Like I said, concept car stats. Equally concepty is the cockpit, which is designed in such a way that the steering wheel pedals and driver's seat can all slide from the normal position into the center of the cabin for the full fighter jet experience. But actually, the most insightful thing about this concept is its total lack of autonomy, because it very deliberately has absolutely no self-driving features. That's very unusual for concept cars these days, and it's Audi's way of saying that whatever the future brings, no matter how normal autonomous driving becomes, there will always be a time and a place for a pure driver's car. That makes me feel all warm and gooey inside, as does looking at photos of the PB18, so let's move on. Built to celebrate 100 years of Bentley, the EXP100 GT concept imagines what wafting about in a posh GT will be like in the year 2035. I'm going to be honest with you, I love this thing. In fact, it's my wallpaper. The EXP100 is almost six meters long. The doors are two meters long and open upwards. The grill is made from 6,000 LED lights and the seats are... Okay, can I... Can I be honest with you? There isn't actually that much substance to talk about with this car. I just think it's a phenomenal piece of design. Look at this thing. Plus, I've always had this feeling that big, super luxurious cars are actually the ones most suited to silent electric power. And I am so impatient for the likes of Rolls-Royce and Bentley to hurry up and go electric with their cars. Come on, chaps, get a bloody move on. In third place, it's the most concepty concept ever conceived, the DSX e tense. Like the PB18, this asymmetrical madness imagines a world where autonomous driving is the norm, but where some of us still fancy rolling our sleeves up and doing a bit of old-fashioned pedaling from time to time. The left side of the car features an open cockpit with steering wheel and pedals. How quaint! Whereas the right side of the car is like a little tiny luxurious hotel room that you can have a nap in while you let the car do the driving. Why exactly you need two separate cabins for autonomous and normal driving? 
I don't know. My best guess is that some senior designer at DS is having a bit of a wobbly with their partner at the moment and is sick of arguing on long car journeys. Things are getting a bit extense. <laughs> Other notable features, the running gear is from a Formula E car because, yes, they built a rolling prototype of this thing. And in one of the strangest pieces of product placement I have ever seen, the relaxation pod comes with a built-in Nespresso machine. Oh, come on, you knew it was coming. Now, first things first, to those Tesla fans who are just about to type a comment going, it's not a concept, yes it is, yes it is. I know Tesla like to do things a bit differently and they don't really partake in motor shows, but let me tell you something. If you unveil a car that you have no intention of building for two years, it's a concept car. And not just any concept car. The Cybertruck straight up broke the internet back in November of 2019. And it wasn't just car people that were talking about it. Everyone was talking about it, partly because of its crazy design, but also because of the unfortunate mishap during the demonstration of the unbreakable glass windows. The bodywork is made of cold rolled steel. I don't know what that means, but it sounds sick. It's bulletproof and it looks like a like a Cybertruck. It's a great name. Will the Cybertruck ever make it to production looking like this? Well, I don't know. I mean, will the Tesla Roadster have cold gas thrusters? You never really know with Elon. Anything's possible. And we finish with another Audi concept that looks totally crazily, but is actually based on some very sensible thinking. Last year, Audi brought four very specialized concept cars to the Frankfurt Motor Show. The luxurious AI Con, the compact AI Me, the sporty AI Race, AKA the PB18, and this, the all-terrain AI trail. Now the thinking behind these concepts is that in the future, when we're all sharing cars instead of owning our own, we won't need cars that are well-rounded and good at everything. We will simply rent cars that are suitable for whatever we're doing on that day. If you've got a lot of motorway driving to do, you get yourself a comfortable AI con. And if you're going camping with your mates for the weekend, you'd get an AI trail. Now enough of that sensible German forward thinking, let's talk about the crazy stuff. It's got drones for headlights. Oh yes, instead of headlights mounted on the front of the car, a team of drones follow you along, illuminating the path ahead of you. Why? Because it's awesome, that's why. Another cool touch, the rear seats are actually hammocks suspended by straps. And when you get to your campsite, you can unstrap them and tie them to a tree or something. Very cool. It's exciting to think that if car sharing does one day become the norm, which it probably should, one of the byproducts of that is that we will actually get to drive a much wider variety of very specialized vehicles, depending on what we need on any given day. I hadn't thought of that until I saw this concept, and that is why it's the top of my list. Also drones for headlights. And there we have it people, the 10 coolest electric concept cars from the last few years. Let me know, what did I miss from this list? Which car didn't get a shout out that should have? Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you very soon.